Well, crap. Hi, are you awake now? Looks like you had a rough time of it. Are you alright? Yeah, I think we're good now, but... We'll have our snag machine. That bunch I saw. Or their team snag them. Or they pick a fight with you. And we explain what happened, apparently. Is that right? So that's been happening in the world at large. Team snag is a bunch of crooks and thugs. They were snagging Pokemon from people with Cypher's help. It wouldn't hurt about that. The last couple years, so I figured they fell apart. I guess not, huh? Anyways, it seems to me you need to get back that thing they took from you. I think they took off north, chasing after a bunch of strange characters. Maybe you ought to join the chase, too. Hmm, thanks for the lead, dude. Yes, it's right about here, on the north side of Eklo Canyon. Alright, so we gotta fix on where exactly it seems like I need to go around to you. Thanks. And now we need to get outside of the stupid behind ship and then go to the outside world to hopefully check out where the crap that guy said to go. Because apparently there are cipher shenanigans going on there, which see, it seems kind of odd. It's like, oh yeah, cipher's over there. Oh yeah, cipher's over there. It's like, why don't they ever tell the police? Why is it always me? And I should not have fallen down here because I have to push this box. Which is just gonna eat hours and hours out of my day. Just kidding. So now that we're at that ship, I say goodbye to the SS Libra. It feels kind of weird though. I mean, I guess it's only half of a ship, but still, it feels like, I don't really know. I felt like they could have done a lot more with that place, but anyways. With our new hover scooter, let's head over to question mark, question mark, question mark. Don't know why I always say it like that. Which is... Wait for it. Probably my favorite area in the entire game. Yeah. This place is pretty intimidating. Not gonna lie. But what is it? Obviously Cypher here, but what is going on? We've been spotted. So there's no point in hiding anymore. We're the team snag -up. Team Snagum can't rightfully say I know him. <laughs> See, he doesn't know either. It's bringing tears to my eyes. Hey, we should go. We should leave this up to Gonzap. Be quiet. We finally managed to track down Cypher, haven't we? We're not just leaving now. Hey, you big lunk. We have business in that building. Stay inside if you don't want to get hurt. <laughs> Gosh. Lunk? Gosh, he's mad. You're calling the dashing and terrific. Mr. Zook a lunk? How dare you? Grr, you're not getting away with this! And the two apparently battle. We do not get to partake in this battle. Heck, we don't really get to do much of anything. It's just Team Snagum Biden and his Oddish versus Zooks. I assume Zangoose. Yeah, he still has his Shadow Zangoose from very early on in the game. And yeah, let's see if he'll do a little bit better than an Oddish now it's not going against Alakazam. But what do you know? Oddish lost. How about that crap? Can't say I didn't see that coming. And yes, I got the short end of that one! <laughs> yeah, I guess you sort of did. Huh. Darn it. See what I'd say. If we wouldn't just waited for Gonzap, this wouldn't have happened. Waken must have reached the hideout by now. Giving that snag machine to Gonzap. Hey, you want more where that came from? Um. Well, pull back and regroup. Let's get back to the hideout. Oh, gosh. Sounds like Zook. Defeated Team Snagum pretty convincingly. No, no, now he wants a piece of us. You're not running off with them. You got guts. Huh? Yeah, we're kind of not in Team Snagum if you couldn't tell. Wait a second, you're the brat from Gatchy on port. Where's the beginning of the game? What are you doing here? Uh, looking around. Got nothing but bad news ever since I saw you. I've heard nothing but the worst of luck. First, to get you on port, some guy challenged me to bow on the bull and promptly stomped me flat. Then Gorgon gave me one major dress down, showing off Shadow Pokemon without permission. Because of that, he made me stand guard here. You're with Cypher? There's one thing I can't figure out, though. How'd Gorgon ever find out about me anyway? Well, maybe not. <sighs> A memory that is getting me riled. This time I'll flatten you. And yes, we get a battle. Zook, for the first time in the entire game! Yeah, in this very odd place. Now, he does have his Shadow Zangoose, but the thing is, we cannot actually snag it. We don't have the snag machine, so I guess we'll have to come back later and then get another shot at it. Now, right, Sveal and Benny are gonna be our leading lineup, and yes, we know it's a Shadow Pokemon, but we can't do anything about it, unfortunately. Not even Master Ball would take it away. So, let's see. 
Thundershock for onto Duel I think will be fine, and then I'm gonna go for an Ice Beam on the Zangoose. Zangoose is probably gonna do a ton of damage for being a normal type. It actually does a lot of very decent damage, so we gotta look out for that. His duo, on the other hand, though, was complete pushover. <laughs> really not a big problem. Yeah. Sapaku is still getting EXP, so that's nice. He's sending out a Carvana now in the Shadow Rush. Hopefully, he'll be on speed. Oh, no, Benny. Oh, I got a crit, too. Man, you hate to see that. Gosh. That definitely sucks. We don't really have much to do. No matter what, we really can't take down, uh, his Caravana with much of anything. So this is actually a very bad position to be in. I did not expect him to get a crit, which really sucks, but hey, we can deal with it, we can deal with it. An Ice Beam with the Never Melt Ice. It's gonna do next to nothing to a Zangoose. Man, how tanky is this thing? Gosh, all right, so let's think. I'm just gonna focus down the Zangoose. I mean, I don't know. I'm not really that afraid of a Carvana, it doesn't have the best attacks in this game, so as long as the Zangoose does not get another crit, we should be fine, okay. Pascal hanging in there, it actually outsped Pascal, I'm actually very surprised by that, and the Fire Blast will connect, heck yeah. So let's see how much damage that will okay good, we took down the Zangoose, don't worry guys, if you knock this thing out, you'll still have a good chance to snag it again, alright. And hey, Pascal's level 29, so now hopefully, stupid Zangooses will not be outspeeding me, nice. Let's see what his next Pokemon is going to be, so Viper, which if Curly was a little bit higher level would be fantastic to go up against. The Bite Attack though, coming on to Sveal, not too big of a problem, that's really not the end of the world. I'm very curious though how much this Ice Beam will do to this so Viper. Let's actually find out, whoa, it actually looked like, oh wow, that did a very reasonable chunk, nice. So next turn, we can definitely take that out, so let's see. What's the best course of action? I, I don't know, man. I'm just going to go for a uh, Blizzard attack. I mean, we're going to knock out the Survivor either way with a full length thrower. It really does not matter. So maybe, maybe we can get a freeze or something onto Carvana? Eh, I don't really know. Carvana's not really aggravating. It's just I don't really want to use a revive to get it back. And the Relicanth coming out. Whoa, Nelly. So now he has two water types that unfortunately we can't deal with because Benny got knocked out. No, Pascal, darn it. Also got knocked out. Well, ain't that some crap? So, two of my main Pokemon have been knocked out. And wow, Sabaku's actually higher level than Curlia? When the crud did that happen? Goodness, I really wanted to get him or her leveled up ASAP, I guess, because that EXP share. It's fine, though. We're going to trace Carvana's rough skin and the Blizzard attack from Sveal. Watch out. Uh, it's not very effective at all. But we got a freeze, so <laughs> Sveal is really good about getting those freezes, huh? And wow, for not being very effective, that did a ton of damage. So let me think. Let's go for the Shockwave just to finish off Carvana. And then I guess I'm just going to use Water Gun on Relicanth. I believe that will be neutral since it is water and rock. I think. I mean, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like Pokemon typings are weird. Like, it should be neutral effective, but it just isn't. I don't really know. It happens with Steel types a lot, but thank goodness they nerfed Steel types a little bit. And hey, currently I got a level 24. Nice. I probably will be doing some more off screen. Oh, I defrosted. Darn it. I probably will be doing some off screen training, though, just to get some of the other party, other? Other party members a little bit higher level. No, no, Sveal. I don't want to lose another Pokemon. Please. Please hang in there. Okay, good. We're going to go for Water Gun. I don't know if we're going to get another Water Gun off, though. Yeah, that was neutral, but it did next to nothing. Goodness. I'm a little embarrassed. Relicanth is actually still faster than me. Gosh, I guess I have an EV that, uh, or a uh, nature that's very negative. All right, water gun is not cutting it. I really can get water pulse. I'll do that in between episodes, most likely. So let's right now go for the shockwave, and yes, that'll end the relicanth. Oh goodness, Zook was actually kind of difficult. That critical hit on the Zangoose actually really messed me up. But hey, we got the W after all, and it looks like Sabaku got a level 26. Not bad, not bad. At all. Still no really good moves on her, so I guess we won't be seeing her for a while. But hey, very soon, but this can't be happening. Yeah, yeah, it is happening though, and you lost, Zook. Deal with it. Ugh, you're just some kid. How could I, the mighty Zook, get beat by just some kid? Because you fluked out the only one because you got lucky. You're the one that got a crit, dude. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> That's got to be the answer. I won't battle you again. If you win by a fluke again, my reputation will take a beating. Gosh, is it really that big of a deal? Goodness. <laughs> look at look at his head. Look at the look at the, just look at his head. The second oh well, that time he kind of did it quicker. Yeah, there we go. I don't know. It looked like he just instantly snapped back to the idle position. And guys, let me through. Oh no no, can't let you win. Nope. 
You gotta run along now. Seriously? Hey, 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 this is no place for kids like you. <laughs> okay. I guess these bouncers aren't letting me into the cipher layer. I mean, that makes sense. I mean, this place actually looks really cool. Really cool, I'll give you that. But I guess there isn't really too much we can do here. But we got an email from Sec from the OMBS. Johnny, something came up. Your help is urgently needed. Please come to the OMBS immediately. All right. I'm going to heal up my Pokemon real quick, and then we'll go see Sec. For those who do not remember, Sec is on the second floor, right over here next to the girl I was singing. And Johnny, I'm glad you're here. I've been waiting for you. Huh? What happened to the thing on your arm? Ah, uh, weren't you wearing the snag machine on it? Oh, uh, I think apparently we tell them what happened. I see. It was Team Snag I'm doing. It's not surprising that they wanted to snag your machine. Up to five years ago, Team Snagum was in a partnership with Cypher. But when they lost their snag machine, Cypher gave them up as a lost cause. I thought Team Snagum just folded after that. They must have spotted your snag machine somewhere. Oh my. I'll start investigating Team Snagum right away. I'll let you know if I find anything. And oh, right, uh, I'd forgotten completely about this email message I received. You see, OMBS got contacted by someone who claimed to have fled from Cypher's base. We debated sending out a news team immediately, but there's no guarantee that it won't be a trap or anything risky. I had to impose, but, eh, yeah, no problem, Sec, I understand the predicament, thank you. Well, now you can be entrusted with this, Johnny. The man who contacted us is named Hordle. He said he'll be at Outskirt Stand. Huh. The actual first area in Pokemon Coliseum, pretty cool. Yeah, it's just East Authentic. It's pretty nice how they kept the geography continuity together. That's kind of cool. And we're depending on you. We'll investigate Team Snagum while you're gone. All right, sounds good. So, to the outpost. Hi-ho! And okay, after a very long walk from Sex Office to the world map, let's go to, well, the outskirt stand. Because apparently there's a guy who used to work a cypher that's hiding out there. Is it true? And the mirror bee alert is going off. That's very odd, actually. Really don't know why I would do that. Unless... No way. He's right here. That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> Where did I ever pig out? That was the first decent foot I've had in a long while, I tell you. Yeah, that's great and all truly, but... Are we really doing the right thing living this way? I worry about my future, you know? Maybe I really need to consider changing my lifestyle. Now what are you going on about, Folly? You're not your usual self. Don't tell me you've forgotten about the boss's dream. We're gonna own all the Pokemon in the whole wide world! Well, that's what I'm talking about. Achoo! Achoo! Oh, boss! Oh, God. <laughs> Did I ever hear you two talking about me? Oh, well, if that isn't the super aggravating little boy who served me up a bit of memory at the poker spot. Yeah, what's up, Mirror B, and the Pirate Gym, for that matter. <laughs> Perfect timing for a little exercise after my meal. I'll wrap you out with my elegant steps. Let the music start. Let the music spin. You got that line wrong, Mirror B. Come on. So for, like, the third time now, we're challenging Mirror B. This guy just will not leave us alone. He's going to send out his Lombre team, apparently, now. That's cool. Did he steal these lombres? Did he raise them from low tads? Who on earth knows, though? We got Benny and Curlia out here to deal with them, though. And we traced uh, Swift Sim. So if they use that, to actually, I'd really like it if you do use a rain dance. That'd actually make me really happy. We're gonna use a calm mind here just because I assume these lombres are gonna use some special attacks. And yeah, that lombre's down. <laughs> Thunder. From Benny is just immensely powerful, man. I don't really think Munch can get past that. Level 29 on Benny now. Heck yeah, we're almost level 30. Nice. Nothing really spectacular is going to happen at level 30. It's just I like being level 30. It's cool. And all right, Mirabee tossing out. Yes, you guessed it. Another Lombre. You're as surprised as I am, no doubt. On Curly, we're just going to do a Calm Mind. It may be helpful. It may not be. Not too sure. Going for the Drain again, though. Ooh. Not really a big deal considering he was full elf after all, so yeah. Don't know why I did that. Maybe he didn't have a better move to use. Regardless, uh, do I want to calm mine again? Now I'll just go for shockwave, I guess. Just spamming electric attacks like we're coming kind of major or something. Critical hit going on Lombre. We really didn't need that crit, but hey, he's knocked out, and I'll take you know, I, I've never I've never been one to say, you know what, that's just too much damage, you know. <laughs> Can't think of way too many, uh oh. I actually forgot this happened. Yeah, so I guess I'll just go off on that tangent. Guys, Mirror B has a shadow nose pass. Unfortunately, we do not have the snag machine. As it was taken from us in the previous episode, so 
basically not trying to spoil anything, but yes, we will have... Oh my gosh, Curly does no damage. We will have to go back to the Pyrite, or... Eh, could technically go to the uh, Real Gum Coliseum eventually, because that does open, I think. And get that Shadow Pokemon snagged from him. Don't know when I'm going to do that. Probably... A couple episodes from now, can't make any promises. So let's go for a, another Thunder, and... Huh... I don't really know... Okay. We're gonna Thunder the Nose Pass, because that should not be resisted, and I guess just Shockwave the one. Always misses, man. Always misses. Another... <laughs> Shockwave's gonna be like nothing, though, and then the Lombrace is gonna heal up, me. Guys, trust me. Curlia will... Ah, that did okay damage, I guess. Curlia will get powerful, just not right now. Lombre! Whoa! <laughs> That's apparently the sound of draining, uh, not confirmed by Nintendo or Pokemon Company, but you heard it first here. And yes, Nose Pass is gonna go- <laughs> He's like shooting a fuck! <laughs> it came directly out of his- They had to intend that, man, there's no way. Oh my gosh, that was actually really funny. Alright, hopefully the second Thunder will connect, and I guess we'll just keep using Confusion. It honestly is probably higher power. And okay, will that knock him out? Yes, it will. So yes, unfortunately, we are knocking this nose pass out because we can't snag it. So yeah, we'll have to worry about that at a later date. So then a Ludicolo now decided to evolve one of them. Eventually, he just tracked down a Waterstone. Hey, that's just great. Think about that though. In the original Pokemon Coliseum, he had to find four Waterstones. Then again, he was a thief and a criminal, so maybe he just stole them. But I don't know. In the Pokemon universe, they're not always the most easy to find thing. I think in like Ruby and. Sapphire, they're almost exclusive. You had to find those little uh, shard things and then trade them to the dude, then he'd give you the stones. But yeah, thankfully. Hope that does not return to Omega Ruby now. <sighs> oh, well, okay, that's kind of good. He's setting up the Rain Dance, which will not only make Curlia faster, but will ensure that our Thunders will no longer miss. So that's actually pretty good. And yeah, Curly is just gonna hopefully. Okay, good, we knocked out the Lombre. So now Mirror B is down to his last Pokemon. And we have basically our full team still. Yeah, Mirror B, just not, not that intimidating. Just, just, oh, hey, Sabaku is level 27, not bad. And the rain continues to fall. Okay, so this thunder attack will not miss, and we can basically, uh, I would call on Curlia just to save time. But something's telling me that he's gonna, like, live with just the amount of damage that, ooh, that uh, Confusion would do. So I'm gonna be on the safe side and just use both attacks. It's, wait. How do we... Oh, <laughs> I forgot the fact that Curlia traced Swift Swim and not... Uh, what is the other move called? Or ability. Sorry, I always do that. Oh my gosh, it's going to kill me. I can't remember these things. Anyways, Thunder will... Hmm. Rain Dish, that's the move, I think. I really hope so, anyway. So Ludicolo uh, lived with 1 HP, exactly, and that is really annoying because now he's going to Mega Drain. And when you Mega Drain, you get more HP back. And that just really makes me sad, so, yeah, it's gonna have like 10 HP left instead of 3. So yeah, really big difference there. Let's just finish it off with a Confusion Attack, Curlia going for the finishing blow. And yeah, Mirror B, you're unfortunately as weak as ever. Yeah, so sorry. <laughs> the game's just like taunting us with that nose pass, man, we can't even get it for a really long time. And down goes Mirror B for, I believe, the third time, and I skipped his dialogue. Uh, Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. What do you got to say for yourself, Mirror B? Mm. Oh, how dare you? I say how dare you next time I put things right and lay down my elegant steps. Let's go. Escape. <laughs> they just run away. In uniform, because they are not. They're all like, can't take me on. I'm too stinking powerful. Anyways, now that's taken care of, let's go inside the actual outskirts stand and see what is up. The ONBS is on again. Yay, and we bring you breaking news story. The cargo ship SS Libra was found in the desert north of Fennec. Its baffling disappearance believed to have been done by Cypher. It is unclear as how the ship was transported to the desert. However, Cypher's motives of taking the ship are also unconfirmed. Unfortunately, there were no sign of the numerous Pokemon aboard the ship. Concern is surprising for their safety and welfare. So they said in the beginning of the game. Anyways... Um, hmm, what exactly do we have to do? Oh, gosh, I can't really remember. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Uh, let's just go outside. Maybe we'll think of it later. And no, yo, wait up! Huh? Yeah, that is this guy. Hey, man. Name's Willie. I remember who you are now, kid. You're the kid from Center Cypher back in Phoenix City, aren't you? You were on TV and crap. I just realized I didn't talk to the professor guy. Darn it. Well, we're gonna battle Wheelie again, or Willie. Yeah. And yeah! 
I'm burning now. I'm on fire. It's full throttle time. Vroom, vroom. Let's roll. Okay. Sounds good, Willy. And yes, the writer Willy. He's back. No one wanted him to be back, but he's back, and he is signature zigzagoons. Yeah. I don't really know why they put this in the game, but they did. So, Benny and Curly is still battle damaged from your bees encounter. Are we really gonna go up against these things? And hey, we got pickup. Cool. Anyways, let's go ahead and do a thunder attack. And I'm gonna use Pascal here just because Pascal hits really hard with Fire Blast and Flamethrower, respectively. And I kind of want to hustle this up so we can talk to that professor. Dude, accidentally. <laughs> That's kind of embarrassing, actually. I got a little distracted, so. And oh no, it missed. Crap. Well, it's gonna go for a head to butt, and we're just gonna have to deal with it, man. Mm! So much damage. So much damage. How do we deal with that? Oh. oh gosh, he dug a hole. Well, that sucks and all. I guess we're just gonna focus down on your little friend then. <laughs> Hopefully, a thunder. I just realized we hit the zigzag goon that was underground. Today's not a good day for me, man. <laughs> and I know electricity has been weakened. Crap. Well, that's not really that big. Crap. I said that really weird. All right. So let's 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 get back together. So I hit the wrong one. That's fine. That's fine. Let's hit this one now, and then that one. I can't believe I'm actually having issues with fighting Zigzagoons, the stinking easiest Pokemon in the world to beat. Oh my gosh! Thankfully, they have been destroyed now. So that's good. Or at least one has been destroyed. We'll most likely get the other one in due time. And gosh, we're getting like no EXP from this though. Where we're hopefully we'll get some decent EXP from is these Lanoons. But she has two Lanoons, too. It's like, okay. Congratulations. It's like, I don't really know why they even put this in here. But it's just a, a, the last second. They're like, all right. We need some callback characters. Or some cool characters that we can have the trainer go up against. And they got the Japanese guy. was just like, gosh dang it, put in Willy. And they did. That was awesome. That was good. <laughs> let's like, yeah, let's use Thunder on that one. Fireball. I just want to hustle, honestly. Oh my gosh, Thunders are not hitting today, man. I'm having pretty bad luck. I'm getting phone calls during recordings. I'm getting... That's pretty much it. Oh, a critical hit at the beginning of the episode. Like, kind of sucked. It wasn't really that big of a deal, though. And we also got our snack machine taken. That kind of sucked. And gosh dang it, Lanoon. You stinking... I don't have any PP left for that, either. Oh my gosh. So aggravating. <clears throat> gosh. I know the Laloon is going to be faster, too. It's just... <sighs> Guys, dang it, Willy. Guys, dang it. You and your Lanoons, man. Lanoon. I don't even know what kind of word that is. Maybe, maybe it's my fault for always going for Fire Blast, but I just want to hustle. This guy is making me not get hustled, basically. So, okay, Fire Blast, connect, connect. Yes, all right. So, Willy, chances are, yeah, you're going to beat him. It's really not that difficult, but it is a kind of cool cameo. And yeah. It's over. Good job, Willy, for distracting me from my main mission and stopping Cypher. <laughs> okay, I handed the loss. Still need some seasoning. <laughs> Food jokes, haha. <laughs> okay. So now that's taken care of, we need to go back inside the diner ASAP. And, but yeah, you're tough, real kid, tough. You stomped us good. As long as you're around or his future is safe. Yeah, thanks a ton. And hey, Spear is ready to be purified. Nice. Wow, that was actually extremely fast, goodness. What I meant to do, though, is talk to this guy. I'm Hortle. Are you maybe John? I'm glad you see you. I was terrified that Cypher would find me and drag me away if I stayed much longer. You see, I fled from Cypher's key lair way in the north. Mm, oh, you know that place. Oh, wow, you the people of the OBS show get their information quickly. The key lair is a factory. It was made to mass-produce shadow Pokemon. When I discovered that, I was horrified. I came to hate my job, so I escaped. When I fled, I managed to spirit away just one shadow Pokemon. But even then, there were already many shadow Pokemon. I'm sure that they've produced even more since then. Oh gosh, sounds kind of rough. While I was in Cypher, there were rumors about a boy who snags shadow Pokemon and purifies them. Might that person be you? I have a giant favor to ask. Will you purify this Shadow Pokemon for me? Yes, and he will actually give you a Shadow Togepi. Pretty nice. Okay, there you go. Please purify the little guy. You need space in your party to actually get it. Let's actually check it out really quickly. We got um, pretty pretty decent. It's got Shadow Shed, Shadow Rave, which I have no idea what that does. A Shadowy Aura in the ground. Is used to launch spikes. 
yeah, it sounds really cool, but it's not really that great. And we got a we got a question mark nature. We actually don't know that yet. And yeah, so now that's been taken care of. Uh, what the don't we do now? I don't know. I assume we gotta track down Team Snag, but I don't know. Is that the right, my friend? Traveling, you're lonesome. You're gonna stay here on the road. You're stuck up on supplies like Pokeballs. Ooh, this guy sells Pokeballs. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And oh wow, it's my Ultra Balls, Net Balls, Nest Balls, Timer Balls. We want some Timer Balls for something that's gonna happen way later in the game. Definitely some potions. So that's all well and good. But guys, this episode has actually been pretty long. We did a lot. We beat Zook, and oh, we got another message from the ONBS. We've located Team Snagum. They've been operating out their old hideout north of Outskirts Stand. We don't know the size of the group or much about the leader, Gonzap, but be careful if you're going there. So now we have our new coordinates. By the way, are you searching for Team Snagum's hideout? Uh, yes, we are. I guess he's going to point it to us. Team Snagum's hideout is around here somewhere. Nice. So I think that is now almost every location in the game we've been to. I passed it while fleeing from Cypher's Key Lair. It was in a desolate spot. All right, well, thanks for the info, Hortle. And guys, we actually did a ton of this episode. We saw a ton of Shadow Pokemon. Yes, she was. We couldn't snag any of them. We got that Nose Pass and that Zangoose that we're going to have to find. But first, things first, before we get to purifying this Pokemon, we got to get our Snag Machine back, which we're going to do in the next episode. Let's play Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness, where we go, Storm, Team Snagum's Hideout. So see you guys then. Bye.